Oh, wow. Look what Santa got me for Christmas. And there's a card. Dear Solomon, I know you wanted a Tesla Roadster for Christmas. However, due to supply chain shortage, I hope you'll be happy with this substitute. Substitute? What substitute? Oh, come on. <laughs> this substitute. Okay, well, what else does Santa have to say? But since you have been a good boy, here is something that could turn your Kona Electric into a Tesla. Huh. What could that be? Ooh, look, it's an adapter. This is gonna get interesting. And by the way, Electron sent us this one. Welcome to Ready Steady Charge. My name is Solomon and thank you for joining me today for a review of the Electron Tesla 2J1772 charger adapter. If you drive a non-Tesla like me, this is a great accessory to have. I am here with my Hyundai Kona Electric and I want to do some AC charging. But all I have is a destination charger that has a Tesla plug. And this clearly isn't going to fit. Everything becomes much easier when you have one of these adapters from Electron. So it's really simple to use. Basically, you put the Tesla plug into the receptacle end of your adapter, like so. And you just simply plug in the J plug into the EV, like this. Lo and behold, you are charging like a Tesla. I'm pretty sure there are a lot of you who knows what this adapter is for. But for those of you who don't, here is a quick history. Teslas are special in more than one way. There are many countries in the world where Tesla shares the same plug as other EVs. But in North America, Tesla uses the Tesla proprietary connector for both AC and DC charging. Here are a couple of other countries outside of North America which also use the Tesla proprietary connector. This has led to a dichotomy between the types of plugs you find on chargers. If you drive a non-Tesla EV in North America and you are going to be doing AC charging, you will be using the J1772 Type 1 plug, or J plug for short. As you can see, it is very different from the Tesla plug, and this is where the adapter comes in handy. Where this adapter becomes very useful is in situations like this. So I am currently in Nordstrom Rack in Edmonton. This is right beside Gateway Boulevard. Let me show you how the setup works and why if you come as a non-Tesla EV, you cannot charge. In Nordstrom Rack, we have four chargers in total only one of which is a J1772, and I am occupying this charger. Then the rest of them are all Teslas. So one Tesla plug, two Tesla plugs, and last but not least, three Tesla plugs. So in this situation, when you have one non-Tesla EV occupying the J1772 plug, you cannot charge as a non-Tesla EV without this adapter. Let's go to some destination chargers and test out this adapter and see if it works. John actually bought the same adapter and he's going to test it out on his BMW i3.
Hello everyone, we're at Sky Energy Solar in Calgary. It's a very cold night here in Calgary, um, but what we have here, as you can see, is two Tesla destination charger. Now, the owner of this premise is actually charging one of their Ford e-Transit utility van here uh, using one of the Tesla destination charger using a very similar adapter as the Electron ones that we have here. Uh, it seems to be working well with the Ford e-Transit and look at us, uh, the BMW i3. We are also able to charge using the Electron adapter here. So the, simple, the process is simple. You just plug the Tesla destination plug right into the adapter and then the adapter into the BMW i3 and voila, we have the blue light of success. The Electron adapter charges at a maximum of 48 amps at 240 volts. This makes the maximum charging speed 11.5 kilowatts. And that's very important because a lot of new EVs like the Ionic 5 and the ID4 are all capable of charging up to 11 kilowatt on AC. If you have one of those EVs and you use a lower specification adapter, such as one that goes up to 7 kilowatts or 10 kilowatts, that would be very unsafe. So if you have one of those newer EVs, this adapter will be perfect for you. And needless to say, this adapter only works with AC charging. So that means level 1 charging at 120 volts with the Tesla mobile adapter or on level two up to 240 volts with the Tesla destination chargers. And all this is to say, this adapter will not work with superchargers. A big thanks to Electron for sending us this review unit and a big thanks to you for watching our review of the Electron Tesla to J1772 adapter. Man, that's a mouthful to say, but it charges your EV in a reliable way. If you're interested in this product, the links are in the description below. My name is Solomon, and we will see you on the next one. Okay, time for a little bonus footage. Um, the footage is actually about troubleshooting, not about how cold it is. It's actually minus 32 right now. So whenever you're at a national park, and I find that it's only national parks here that have this setup, you basically got four chargers. One of these, you know, two of these actually have the Tesla plugs. Two of these are Tesla branded destination chargers with the J1772 plug. So whenever you have this setup and you try to use an adapter, I find that when you first plug in, it doesn't actually work. So as you can see, we're plugged in and the ring around the charge part is orange. This means there's actually an error. Now, if you look at this, you're like, oh no, the adapter doesn't work. Actually, there's a quick trick to fix that problem. Let me show you. Okay, so we're in the vehicle and uh, the vehicle's showing that there is a error. So charging has stopped. Now what you need to do is turn off the vehicle and turn it back on. And then like magic, it starts charging. There we go. So yeah, whenever you find that the adapter doesn't work, plug it in, turn off the vehicle, turn it on again, and then uh, I find that it works. So little tip for troubleshooting.